Hi guys, welcome to my video and my YouTube channel. My name is Ronnie, I'm a professional animator and I'm creating my own game in my spare time called The Adventures of Gorm. It's a rogue light game with focus on uh, combat and character progression and exploration and, a, and an awesome story also. Uh, so if you want to support this game and me, you can do it on Patreon, you can do it on Twitter, subscribe my YouTube. I have a Discord community with a lot of awesome people where we can talk about everything. So come join my Discord and, and all that stuff and let's get into the tutorial. Let's go. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm using uh, this uh, technique on almost all of my stone assets in the game. Right, like floors, floor cubes, uh, windows, window um, walls for the game. It's, it's the same thing all the way around. Um, and the last thing I did was this door frame thing. Um, and you can see this is the original. This is how I modeled it. And the, when I've used this uh, cracked technique, whatever you want to call it, it will look like this. It looks like like uh, the stone. The stone frame is uh, kind of cracked up, and I think it looks great. And it and it fits my art style perfectly. And I mean, mostly I'm doing this tutorial for myself because. I did these uh, walls um, <laughs> a long time ago, like over a month ago, uh, when I figured out this technique. And then I wanted to do it a few days ago, and I just couldn't remember how to do it. Then I had to look up a ton of stuff uh, and, and fumble my way around again to figure out how to do it. So <laughs> before I forget it again, um, I, I will just make a video so I can use it myself, to be honest. And I mean, we have some pro problems uh, with this technique uh, somewhere. You can fix that if you know how to model. But um, I mean, f for what I'm using this for, uh, that is fine to have some things that are not really um, like optimal. I mean, it, it's a, it, it does a pretty good job. But you can see here, we, we have some problems over here. Uh, but I'm just going to ignore that because because of the game I'm making, we're now going to get really really close to uh, to these objects, so uh, I can get away with uh, a lot of these uh, errors. But I'm pretty sure you can fix them. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to fix many of them, so I'll just leave them. But I will show you how I have done this. Okay, so we have the model here with contains of four pieces. I will just show you one piece, I think. Um, so we need to make a new collection. New collection, call it um, door frame cracked or door frame A cracked. And then just put this on the, I mean, Put it where you want, it doesn't really matter. But make sure that it's the selected um, collection. Right, so we need to click on the model. We want to break up. And then I have on my quick bar, I have the self fracture. I can't remember how, how you access this without the quick bar. I put it on the quick bar a long time ago. Uh, but I mean, you can look it up. Maybe I'll find it and put it in here in the video. I, I'm not sure. But there are tons of tutorials on how to activate the self fracture. So press the self fracture. In here, the only thing we need in here is to uh, set the source limit, which is the amount of pieces that uh, it will create. As default, it, it will be 100. Right, let's press OK, see what's going on. See, it makes a, a lot of small pieces out of this. Undo it, put, press the self fracture again, then put it down to around five. Then OK. And then it fractures this um, pillar. Let's just hide the original geometry. 
automatically it created five pieces of geometry. Right, looks awesome. So first we need to clean up these uh, these new pieces. So we select all the all the geometry, then we go into edit mode. Then we select vertices and now we need to you can see there's a lot of extra vertices here and there. This is really not too bad. See there's also one here. There's some extra stuff laying around. This is actually pretty good, but normally there's a ton of extra vertices. And this top cut over here, that, that's, that is a very straight cut, right? Anyway, we need to get rid of all these extra ones. So we go up to the mesh and then we select the cleanup and then we select limited dissolve. This should remove all these extra ones, which it didn't do. Why didn't it do that? Maybe I need to select all vertices. Let's try again. Mesh, clean up, limited dissolve. Yes, see now it disappeared down here. So that worked. This is probably going to be a problem area too. Um, I mean, when you do your self factor, you need to try and look out for problem areas like this. And also here, these will become a problem when we bevel. Uh, but that's just the way it is. Then you can just undo your self fracture, then do it again and hope for a better result. Right? That, that's how I've done it. I've done this many times on the same object to get uh, a result that I like. So now the thing is that we also need to mer merge vertices together because there should be a lot of vertices down here lying in in, cl in uh, clusters, right? We need to get rid of all those. So select all the vertices again and then press, we can right click and you can find the merge vertices by distance. You can also just press M on your keyboard and select by distance. And you can see in the bottom it removed uh, 72 vertices from this model. You don't see it, but they are lay lying on top of each other. So they have disappeared now. So there's two ways I have figured out how to bevel this stuff. There's the standard way in Blender using Blender's bevel, which, which causes uh, more problems than I like. Uh, for the stuff I'm doing here, I'm using a free add-on called Soft Bevel, which will bevel just like a default Blender but it will kind of fix all these um, areas where, where vertices are kind of crossing over each other and creating this uh, flickering uh, destroyed geometry. Let me show you Blender's way of doing this first. Maybe you just want to use uh, Blender's default. So you go into uh, edge mode you, if, and if you go into wireframe, you can see these blue edges here, I think they're blue. I'm colorblind, so, so maybe they're not blue, but I think they're blue. These are the cuts that the cell fracture have created, right? And these are the parts that we want to bevel. So I can select one edge, and then I can select the, I can click Shift and G, and press the sharpness option here. That will select all other edges with the same sharpness and for some reason that's all the new um, cuts so now it's selected all the the identical um, edges right so we're going to solid again and then we just press ctrl b to bevel and we will set our size you can see down in the bottom it it screws up if i do it too big and that's just how bevel works in all programs, right? Uh, so I will just leave it. And then I can set how much I want it to bevel. Five, I think I have used 0 0.5 for, 
for the bevels in uh, in my game and you can see this is a problem down here you can go in you can select uh, vertices and try and move them around so and to try and fix these problems right but i mean i don't think anyone wants to spend time on doing that but again for my game things like this it's not really a big problem because you'll be seeing this geometry uh, far away as I'm having a side-scrolling action game where the camera zooms pretty far out right uh, so you can try and fix all this if you want I don't want to do it so um, let me just undo all this and I will show you a slightly better way of doing it perhaps so instead of selecting all these blue edges i will go into to a face mode um, and i will just take one piece at the time oh sorry i need to go into object mode first select one piece right i can hide the other pieces around it um, and then i go into edit mode and then into face and then I select the faces which has been cut the inside and I think that is what the the blue edges are going all the way around the cut so I think this is the cut for this one right so then again this new add-on is I don't know if it's new doesn't matter an add-on called soft bevel I've put that on the favorite quick menu again and I'm, again, I'm sorry, I can't remember where you will find this as default, but the installation guide, I will leave a link to this plugin in the description below, right? And it says where you can find it when you have installed it. All right, so select the soft bevel. And look at that fine job. And the thing is with this soft bevel is that if you turn up the bevel, it doesn't destroy the geometry the same way as the normal bevel does so let's just leave it at 0 0.05 as we did before so that is that piece go into object mode select another piece like this one edit mode face select the correct faces Again, I'm not sure if this one, I don't think this one should be selected. Again, you need to, you need to figure out <laughs> where, the, where the cut faces are. I'm pretty sure there's a shortcut, uh, so it can select it automatically just with, like with the edges. I just don't, I just don't know about it. So um, yeah, so quick menu, select the soft bevel, and it remembers your setting from before, 0.05 looks fine i'm not sure about this piece up here but uh, again nothing is really broken right you see we get these nice cuts down what was that which mesh was that oh that's the top one okay so select a new piece Go into object mode, select a new piece, hide the other ones, edit mode, select faces, and then select the correct faces. I think this, this could be it. Quick menu, soft bevel, and we get a, a pretty nice bevel with no real problems. I mean, this can also give you a ton of problems, but I, I've been lucky with this, you know, cell fracture seed. Um, this could look much worse. Uh, I'm actually surprised that we're getting so few uh, problems. So get into object mode, select the next piece, edit mode, face, select the correct faces, Quick menu, soft bevel, 0 0.05, looks awesome. So what else do we have? Ah, we have the top one. I think this is the last one. Object mode, 
select it, edit mode. Again, there must be a faster way of doing it, but I'm new at Blender, so I don't know anything about it. Select the correct face, quick menu, soft bevel, done. Let's unhide everything. You see, we have an awesome looking cracked uh, pillar here with actually no problems at all, except this, I mean, this cut up here <laughs> looks a little, that, that's very straight, right? I will probably go all the way back and get a new self fracture variation so we don't get this completely straight line. But I mean, guys, that's it. That's how I do it on the, on all my models that needs to be cracked. I mean, these cracks are pretty big, but again, it's because I need to see them from a distance like this, right? I might be showing you some gameplay right now of some of these cracks in the game. Um, so they need to be big for you to be able to really see them. Um, Again, guys, that's it. That's how I make my cracked stones on all the geometry I'm doing. I think this may work best on low poly objects. I haven't tried it on high poly objects, but uh, with this uh, soft bevel add-on, it, it should fix a lot of problems when you're doing bevels, right? So uh, again, Give me a subscribe and like and all that stuff if you find this video useful and I will make sure to try and make more stuff like this in the future because I really want to make more tutorials and, and other kinds of videos to help you guys out when you're making your games, right? So again, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.